They act like God. They talk like God. What we must understand that the bride, amen, when she becomes God, uh, God, part of God, however you want to say it, I want to, I want to say it in a way that people don't think I'm blaspheming. But if a horse have a horse, he's a horse. And a cow have a cow, it's a cow. And if God have a son, he's a God. Because I want you to understand who you are. You're not a pushover. You are a Christian. Forget about what you used to be. God has transformed you. Don't let the devil take your mind back to where you used to be because that's not you. And if you got the Holy Ghost, the Bible said you are a new creature, a new creation. All things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. We are supernatural. We, we must stop being men and women, thinking like men, thinking like women. We're supernatural. In the image and likeness of God, even the devil knows it. He knew Jesus was supernatural. He did say, hey, if you be the Christ, turn the stone into bread. He knew he could do it because of the God that was in him. And God knows, the devil knows when you get God in you, you're capable of doing whatever God wants you to do. The Bible said who the word came to, he said he called them gods and the word cannot be broken. Hallelujah, and the word has come to you. Oh, what I'm trying to say is that you, once you realize what God has made you, you become invincible. They were first called Christians at Antioch, not because of the clothes they wear. It was because of their behavior. They act like God. They talk like God. They raise dead. They heal the sick. Amen. The eyes of the blind was open. All of those things were given to the early Christian. And if we come from the same branch, and if we are the same branch, we must produce the same thing.